Meantime, back here in the U.S. tonight and the migrant crisis far from the border. Here in New York City tonight, the mayor, Eric Adams, now warning that the overflow of migrants from Texas and Florida will, quote, destroy the city. The White House responding tonight, and here's our senior investigative reporter, Aaron Katursky now. Tonight on the first day of school, population of the nation's largest public school system is soaring, adding nearly 20,000 students, the children of migrant families shipped north on buses provided by Texas and Florida. More than 110,000 migrants have arrived in New York, and now a dire warning from Democratic Mayor Eric Adams. We're getting no support on this national crisis. I don't see an ending to this. I don't see an ending to this. This issue will destroy New York City. Destroy New York City. An already overtaxed school system is racing to find more desks and more teachers. And the city is struggling to house migrant families, trying to make space in hotels by moving single adults into a new tent shelter. Today, New York's Democratic governor appealing directly to the White House. We have to focus not on the politics of this, but focus on doing what's right. And the answer falls with Washington. A similar plea is coming from other cities, including Los Angeles and Chicago, where migrants have been sleeping on police station floors. Back here in New York, the mayor says the cost is too much to bear. Every community in this city is going to be impacted. Every service in this city is going to be impacted. All of us. The White House insists tonight it is providing money and working to do more. Administration officials talked today with the governor of New York and called that conversation constructive. But, David, ultimately the White House says only Congress can reform our broken immigration system. And there's no sign, David, that's happening. Aaron Katursky, live in New York. Thanks, Aaron. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.